Microsoft Copilot is AI-powered assistant that helps to spark creativity, increase productivity, and eliminate tedious tasks. In this release, we continue to add Copilot capabilities to Business Central. And in this session, we will learn about uh, capability which helps to deal with uh, uh, one of the important area of the product, sales documents. Imagine that you are new to the role and you need to create sales document like sales quote, invoice or order. And uh, your company has a quite extensive catalog of uh, products and you need, you're not familiar to it uh, yet in full details. So searching for the, specific, for the right product might be a challenging task, especially if the key details are not stored in the item directly, but uh, uh, present in the product catalog or, for example, represented in the item attributes. How would you do that? Search and filter. Another scenario uh, is uh, when you're dealing with a long-term customer and they're approaching for the new business deal. And they suggest to work with uh, one of the recent uh, successful deals, like uh, use it as a starting point. The problem is that uh, customer might not be very clear about uh, what they're referring to. Is it like sales invoice or shipment or maybe it was quote and which exactly document they mentioned and what is the date. I think Copilot will be great help here. Let's see sales line suggestion with Copilot in action. So this sales line suggestion feature is available in multiple sales document, including sales order, uh, sales score, and sales invoice. For this particular uh, demo, let's see in the context of sales code. Imagine you have received an email from a customer uh, inquiring about some items. So what you will do, you will go to sales codes, create a new sales code, assign the customer, for which you want to create uh, this quotation for. And now you can see we have a new action called suggest sales line. And when you click this action, this new prompt dialog is uh, open up, which basically uh, takes natural language as an input. So you can enter in a way which you are most comfortable with. And there are two main intents that are supported over here. Either you can list the items that you need with the quantities, or you can refer any existing document that you want uh, the lines to be copied from. To assist you to get started, uh, we have something called prompt guides, which can be used as a starting point uh, for entering whatever uh, prompt that you want to enter. So let's say for the document lookup, we have like two starting point. Either you can say copy from any existing order number, or you can say something like copy from last invoice. Similarly, when you are listing uh, the items, you can just say add items and list all the items that you need uh, with the quantities, and you can refer the items with any information that you are already familiar with. So let's start with copy from last invoice as the first example. And when I press generate, the copilot is smart enough to identify the intent and it suggests the invoice for this particular customer. So for reference, on the right hand side, you can see the copilot found uh, this particular uh, posted sales invoice uh, for this particular uh, customer and copy all the lines from there. Now you can actually review these uh, lines and uh, change the description or the quantity if you like, uh, delete any lines that you want and insert. So maybe this was not the uh, document uh, you were actually looking for. So you can actually go back uh, using this edit prompt and you can say something like copy from invoice 3196. It's just a number that I remember on top of my head, uh, some invoice that I recall. So you can see just by mentioning 3196, the copilot was smart enough to find a posted sales invoice with this uh, invoice number, which is the 3196 was just a partial uh, of this document number. And then all the lines from that document were suggested. For reference, you can always open that document and see uh, what was actually in the actual document uh, that the lines were copied from. The important thing over here is like, uh, you can search not only on the base of uh, document number, but you can also search based on external reference number or reference number or a few other fields as well. So that was the first, uh, intent that you can do, like copy from any existing document. So uh, let's explore the second intent, which is uh, specifying the items that uh, the customer actually need. So what I can do is actually go back and say something like, I need office desk, 
and two blue office chairs and press generate. The co-pilot would be smart enough now to say, okay, you are actually looking for items. These are the particular items that you are looking for and suggest you lines based on that. So here you can see uh, we searched for uh, office desk and uh, two blue office chairs. So the co-pilot suggested this Ethan desk and London chair as the suggestions uh, for these items. But the question arises like, why did co-pilot uh, selected this desk or this particular chair. For example, for chair, I look for blue office chair. So if I go to the item itself, the one that the copilot suggested and see the item card, and I can actually see the category of this item was actually office chair. And if I scroll down over here, the attribute, the blue is basically defined as an attribute for this item. So when you search for a particular item, we are not only looking at the description or the name of the item, we are looking at all the related uh, fields and tables for an item, including uh, categories, attributes, uh, translations, and et cetera. Since this result is AI generated, so there is a room uh, that the result might not be what exactly you expected. So uh, to assist you to review these uh, results, we have something called a confidence that you can ask, which is an extra information about how the copilot feel the results that were suggested match against your initial query. So when I press uh, lines in confidence and press generate, it will give me two piece of extra information. The confidence that the copilot feel this result match with your, uh, your initial prompt, and also the search terms that were actually used to find these items. So you can see for chairs, we, uh, the search term that were used were office chairs and blue. And in case there are synonyms for each item, the copilot also search for those as well. And now uh, there's one more thing called uh, the matching criteria. Based on how precise you want your search to be, you, you have multiple options that you can choose for. Imagine you have a request from customer who is not uh, familiar with the items stored in your uh, system. So you can, for that particular case, you can either choose permissive or balanced. But if you know your uh, system well enough, then you can even go for precise as a matching. So we will make sure all the keywords are uh, existing uh, for a particular items and they match exactly. So now let's take this one step further. Imagine you have received an email from a customer uh, which is like praising you for the few items that he uh, actually bought, which was the black office chair and a conference table. And he's basically asking details about two more uh, items that he want to buy, which is black office chair and blue office desk. So what you can do as the user of this feature, you can actually copy the entire email and paste it inside the prompt you can copy the email uh, inside the prompt as it is and press generate. So once I press generate, the copilot is smart enough to identify first what was the user intent inside the email and which were the items that the user is only referring to and which were the items that the user is willing to buy. So the copilot only uh, considered those items and tried to search for those items inside our system. I can review all the lines that were suggested, the items. I can see the confidence is high and I can see all the search terms that uh, the copilot used to identify these items. And then I can press insert. So the, these lines will be inserted inside the sales code. And now all I have to do is send this code uh, to the customer. Back to you, Andre, to explain some more insights about this feature. Very impressive. Uh, that looks like the future is here or almost here. Of course, we know uh, it's uh, not magic, it's technology. And uh, each technology probably requires some uh, details to be discovered. Let's look into the, into the details. First of all, when we are uh, we're exploring a search of the product, which fields and which uh, table sy system use? So we know about uh, item, attributes, and catalog already from the demo. Uh, but also, we can see item reference, variant, transaction, translations, uh, and uh, extended text lines are also taken into the account. What is not taken into the account at this version is a marketing text or any attachments. When we're dealing with a search for the document, we search for four documents. We search for the existing sales quotes and orders, or for the posted shipments and uh, posted invoices. And we look for different uh, fields which may contain a number, uh, either internal ones or external ones. We also use document date as a 
as a main date, and we also use it for uh, to identify the last or for the sorting. All right, so this is about data. I would like to remind that this data is your data, and uh, it's not used. It's not used to train any copilot capabilities. And your data is uh, very much protected by comprehensive uh, enterprise compliance and security controls. All right? And if you would like to know more uh, about the responsible AI uh, standards by Microsoft, you can always find them in the Microsoft website. Search for responsible AI standards, and you will see how to ensure fairness, reliability, and safety, and inclusiveness, and transparency, and accountability. All right, about this specific capability of the Copilot. It will be available in the Business Central Online, also known as a software as a service, so the cloud version. It will be available with the 2024 release Wave 1, which is starting in April, starting from the US regions. It will be available in almost all regions except Canada, and I will explain why. Because the, this capability first available in the preview in the English and different type of English language, Australian or New Zealand or, or British ones, but not in other languages. And in Canada, it's a legal requirement to release software in both languages, in English and in French. So that's why uh, we cannot make it available in Canada yet. Also, I uh, would like to highlight that this capability currently uh, is at no additional cost. If you have a business central license, you can use Copilot capabilities in the product. What if you cannot find it? Uh, starting point is uh, please find the Copilot and AI capabilities page where you can see this uh, sales line suggestion capability in the preview section together with the other features which are available, and make sure that it is active. It might happen that your business central and Azure Open AI service are located in the different countries or privacy or compliance boundaries. In this case, your administrator needs to activate the cross-region data transfer. Then your business central can contact Azure Open AI service and, and, and use Copilot. What are the limitations you better to be aware about? So, as I mentioned, it is in English, and it means that we tested and we know that it works in the English best. Other languages, it might work, you can, you're free to try it, but it's not guaranteed that it will give you a best result possible. Result might be worse comparing to English ones. Also, it's very important uh, on uh, how your data looks like. So if you use very cryptic or uh, difficult to understand for human names and abbreviations in your product descriptions, it will be also difficult for Copilot to deal with them. So you might need to invest uh, some time into making sure that uh, your product are represented correctly, then Copilot can, uh, can find them and understand what it is. Also, if you happen to operate uh, in the industry, which, and, uh, which results that your product catalog might be classified as a, one of the sensitive topics, then you might not get uh, any output at all. Now a little bit more about output uh, produced by sales line suggestion. You saw that this is a, represent a sales lines or very similar to it. And if you're familiar to Business Central, there are multiple columns in the real sales lines uh, table. But at this point, Copilot works only uh, with uh, item number and quantity. And it only deals with uh, lines of type item. So general ledger, resources, or uh, comment lines will be ignored. Also, uh, system will not populate any other fields in the sales lines. It will be either inherited from the, uh, from the header. For example, we can talk about location or shipment date. But, uh, or from the item itself, then system will use a standard price calculation mechanism to define price, discounts, and uh, also uh, unit of measure to use. You might also try to combine or produce some, uh, some prompts and they might not be supported. For example, 
if you want to use both product search and uh, document search, that is not uh, implemented. So, for example, you cannot ask uh, Copilot to return only specific group of product from the sales, uh, from the posted sales invoice. You will receive all lines of type item. You also cannot use a specific customer because right now Copilot will use customer defined in the document header when searching for the document. Also, when you search for product, you need to focus on the product char characteristic, product description, etc. But you cannot do like relative ones, for example, give me best one or give me the one which uh, fits to another or sold together or most sold. That one will not, uh, will not return you any, any good uh, results. Uh, also, you cannot use uh, prompt uh, for to do adjustment of the line. So like you cannot modify or decide uh, that you want some products from specific locations. So location will be inherited from the header or from the product uh, itself, depends on the setup. Or you cannot uh, specify that and give some discount. Again, discount will be calculated automatically. All right, now you know uh, about uh, uh, Copilot capability, which helps you to deal with the uh, sales lines. And uh, thank you for, for listening. Also, I would like to mention that we have uh, other sessions with other Copilot capabilities being available. Uh, feel free to watch them as well. And uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy Business Central.